We have currently checked in here at the Thief in Oslo at Schuholmen. Best hotel sleepers I've ever had. Let's go! Back in time, you know, the crooks of Oslo would meet out here and do sketchy stuff. Hola, amigos! Ava, did you see what it says on the bus? Oslo. Oh. Oslo to Manila. I mean, it's not easy. I'm the Oslo and you're the Manila. The bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new travel vlog. This time from Oslo, Norway. For the last two weeks, I have taken my friends from the Philippines, Peru and the UK all around Norway. We visited some very, very beautiful places. But in this travel vlog, we are going to show you a little bit what we get into while we are here in the capital of Norway. Oslo! Yay! <laughs> so I'm here with my fiance of loving it. If you're new to her, new to me. Full time travel vloggers here on YouTube making content. You guys know what to do when you get to a place, things you can do around your hotel, how much it costs to stay there, all those fine things you need to know. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do. We have currently checked in here at the Thief in Oslo at Schuholmen. I think this is one of the nicest hotel you can find while you are in Oslo. This is currently the suite on the seventh floor. We are so thankful for this opportunity. We're gonna be showing you the suite now. We're gonna do a little room tour so you guys know what it looks like. So upon entry, obviously there is a small hallway which we just like shove our clothing and all that in and you have a guest bathroom. <laughs> because what's so cool about these suites here on the Thief is that it's almost like a small apartment. You have two couches, you have a small kitchen over here which you can, you know, bring some drinks, really entertain your guests if you are having some friends over. We're just having a romantic time. We are currently at Schuvolmen, which I uh, talked about, and it is a very cool part of Oslo because it's all the way down by Aker Brygge. The fjord is basically right there and there's a channel that runs through Oslo and in the summer people have their boats parked up and basically we are very central. From here we can get to the castle of Oslo in just 10 minutes. Also the Astrup Fernli Museum is right over there. Up there you have the Ekebergåsen which is full of art and sculptures. I would say we are very central and I'm obviously going to be showing you the entire hotel as well. It has some great facilities like spa, restaurant and a bar. Look at this super cool chandelier by the way. So when we checked in today, they gave us some uh, champagne and a gift. And this is super cool because it's like a 3D card. You can see her eyes move. <laughs> they wrote a little thank you card for us. Thank you so much, Anette and everybody at The Thief that have made this possible for us. We are truly happy. There's also a little gift, which I will open with Arvin later. Okay, and then I guess a lot of people are wondering, what does the bedroom look like here at The Thief? This is it. Very, very cool. It's like this boutique hotel style you know every furniture piece seems to be somewhat tailor-made for the room which i really really like it doesn't get more 007 than this this is probably the coolest feature of this hotel room you have a pop-up tv in front of the bed which opens up in 007 style <laughs> i love it then the room seems to be like activated when i walk in the light comes on here we have a safe and cabinets where we will be putting all our belongings, bathrobes. We're gonna go to the spa very soon. I'll be showing you that as well. So you really get to bolster yourself in luxury here. And over here we have the main bathroom, which has a bathtub, which is super nice. I actually drove for eight hours today, all the way from Stramna here to Oslo, just in time for check-in. I'm feeling a little bit tired. I was just so extremely excited to show you guys the hotel room. So that's it, the entire hotel room tour. Uh, we'll be going to the spa soon. We're also gonna eat in here at the restaurant. And then tomorrow I'll be showing you around Oslo. Definitely don't wanna miss this vlog. And let's go and say hi to Katya and Dan, our friends. Wow, look at us. We are ready to Change go to the into spa. into our robes. Actually, this is the best hotel sleepers I've ever had. Wow. I hope it's uh, for free. <laughs> we think it is because there's also like so in, nice. in room shopping, but yeah. Yeah, these are like so, cozy. so nice. Yeah, and it's vel <laughs> velvet. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget this one. About this one. <laughs> welcome to Oslo, guys, and welcome to the theme. Wow. Abe, for you. Skull! Skull! Oh, wow. No way. Look at that. A pen. This is the first hotel I've ever stayed at that actually gave me a pen. And I needed one! Yeah. <laughs> I so always that you don't uh, steal my pen. I always borrow Avis pens, so finally I have my own pen. Okay guys, it is time to go to the spa. We've checked in. It's gonna be a wonderful time. Come along. Now we are going to the spa. And there's an underground tunnel that's gonna take us. Really? Underground yeah, underground tunnel. <laughs> really? It's in the neighbor really? building. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay guys, before entry we are giving some iced tea and some facial mask and scrubs. And inside this door is the pool, the finish sauna and some of the other spa facilities which I will show you. Okay guys, we made it inside to the first part of the spa. Ave is currently checking out the pool. Kathy is chilling on the lounging chair. <laughs> Super nice. We've been allowed to film as long as there's no other guests. So we respect people's privacy, but look at this thing. How's the temperature? It's hot, no? So here in the teeth, they have a Finnish sauna, spa showers, steam bath, and hammam. So there's plenty to choose from. You have to book in advance, especially now during what's going on in the world. So make sure that you request in advance before your booking, so that make sure that you get a spot in the spot. Trying out all the different teas they have. The Thief is really nice. I've always wanted to try it, and it just has never been the time. But um, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. So I hope you guys get to understand a little bit what the different facilities here are. We've just been lounging by the pool now for about 20 minutes, taking videos, shots, and we're about to go in and try all the different saunas, and after that we'll go up to the room, freshen up, and then head for dinner. Yeah! Let's go! Guys, I have Honestly, never had a better shampoo and conditioner at a hotel. I always bring my own, but at this hotel I didn't have to, so I'm very excited. And I've been freshing up, ready to go to dinner. Avi is currently getting ready out there. We have dinner at the Thief. So today we will review the restaurant downstairs, see if it's any good. I know um, by experience that the restaurant down there has a very nice ambience. I'm very excited that we're gonna have like a couple double date. After dinner, we are heading down to the Thief Bar, located on the first floor. I'm very excited for this. Looks like this is a place where all the guests are spending their time after dinner. Hopefully they have some good bourbon.
Good morning from Oslo. All the way up in the hill there, you can see Holmenkollen, which is a very famous ski jumping facility. And actually the king's boat is parked right down there. Have such a wonderful sleep here tonight. Eight hours of pure magic in the most comfortable soft bed I've had in a while. Really, really nice. We are gonna head down to breakfast right now. I'm gonna bring you. I've heard a lot of good things about it. We might have reached the best part of a hotel stay. Breakfast. Freshly squeezed ginger shot. Whoa. Coffee. Orange juice. Fresh. A pot of tea. <laughs> Guys, after the breakfast, I'm gonna try the Thief Gym. Working out while traveling is probably one of the hardest things to do, but I try whenever I'm staying at a hotel that has a gym. Try my best to go there. So it's basically a thing where you just have to make time. Time's not gonna appear unless you just get it done. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do today. Even though I'm feeling tired, I know that working out gives me energy. Let's go and check out the Thief Gym. What's so cool here is that all the rooms have access to this glass elevator at the side of the building, which takes you down to an underground tunnel and into the next building. And that's actually where the gym and the spa is located. Whee! Let's go to the spa. Whoa, okay, giving you a little review about what we have here. Full purpose machine, full back, bicycling, and in here there's a second room, deadlift, a oh, bunch of different machines. And over here you can do bench presses. Okay, there you guys go. Outside the hotel, the thief is located out on an island called Shuvholmen, which goes way back to time. Shuvholmen actually means the thief island. That's why the hotel is named the thief. Back in time, you know, the crooks of Oslo would meet out here and do sketchy stuff. <laughs> Today, it's a very safe neighborhood with a lot of uh, great restaurants and luxury hotels like this one. And people also have their boats here which in the summer they go out on the fjord, which is right out here. But now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna visit the Ostrup Friendly Museum. I'm just waiting for my friends Dan and Kathy to come and I'm gonna take them for their first ever city walk in Oslo. All right, so Kathy and Dan is out with me now. I am so excited. Look at this Englishman when he dresses up. Oh my God. So he's walking away. I'm so he sorry. I'm so I sorry. I just. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Walking around, this is one of the most expensive real estates here in Oslo. Very beautiful, and departments on this side has view across the ocean, which we're approaching now. And in the summer, people will actually swim and sunbath here because it gets up to 30 degrees in the summer in Oslo. So if you're a summer person, maybe you will like to visit Oslo during the summer and not necessarily the winter. Guys, can you believe that in the summer you can actually sunbath and swim here? A lot of people from Oslo will be chilling here, swimming in the fjord. Oh, it's ice cold! Let's ice go cold. swim anyway. Yeah, I Let's mean, do it. after uh, the Norway trip we just had, you're, you guys are really good at this. I'm ready. <laughs> hey guys, we are entering the Ostrup Friendly Museum. And our entry ticket is actually our thief key card. So we have free entrance. Whee! What do you think? You like Oslo, Kathy? Yeah, I love it. It's super walkable. Yeah. It's very nice and it's not that cold. Right. Right. Uh, 
Here you can jump from the top of the sauna, it's a floating sauna on the fjord, and jump right in and get warm again. It's a very popular thing to do here in Oslo. The city tour continues. We are now standing in front of Rådhuse, the town hall in Oslo. People can actually get married in there. And now we're walking into the famous street of Kaljohan. And it's so fun to take my friends around because normally I wouldn't look that much to the city, but now I'm like actually appreciating it. You actually know quite a lot about it. As yeah. Well. A lot it's of history. A history lesson with Martin. Okay, guys, we made it to the Norwegian uh, castle. And very, so on our independence day, on the 17th of May, the king, the queen, and the family comes out on that porch and waves. Oh, well, so I want back. you to pretend that this is happening and let's give oh my our God, just came out. best regards to the king. Hey! hey. <laughs> Talk me! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, usually he'll stand right there and wave, and there will be like a big parade of people here walking all the way down back into the city. Hey guys, I have met Ave! And what's happening today? You've arranged lunch for us? Yes, my favorite Filipino restaurant in Oslo. So at speaking moment, there's only one Filipino restaurant in Oslo, or two? There's two, I think. I'm not like so a sure. food hall filled with different uh, places. Now I recommend you guys to go there for lunch. We have made it to Oslo Street Food. This is one of the only places you can find Filipino food. Kain is uh, the name of the restaurant. There are moving locations though, so if you're watching this three months after I published it, you need to look it up because they're gonna build a new, brand new restaurant just a couple blocks away. Do you know what Kain means? Kain, it means eat. Eat now. Very cool. So here you guys can see all the food on the table. Very excited to have, we haven't had Filipino traditional yeah. food in a while. Personally, I haven't been to the Philippines for over a year now. Oh yeah, he's the, it's, it's his first time. Dan's oh, first time. Me all the time. I've had lots of Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, did you see what it says on the bus? No, I didn't. Oslo. Oslo, to Manila. Oslo to Manila. I easy. I'm the Oslo and you're the Manila. The bar. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We are definitely very full. Don't have to eat for several Even hours. Baon. Baon. There were so many different Filipino Baon. dishes. Very good food. I mean, Filipino food, if you haven't tried it, try that Austin street food. Wow, well, guys, just in time for sunset. Guys, check who I'm with. Hey guys. <laughs> Kim joined. <laughs> so cool. So we're gonna walk from the Thief now, the hotel in the back. We're gonna walk up Carl Johan and down to America Linien, where we will have dinner tonight. It's a very nice evening walk. There's a lot of restaurants everywhere, lights are out. It's gonna be pretty good. Yeah. How are you feeling Dan? Good. Yeah? How are you feeling? We're very good. We're ready for some uh, good bourbon. Yes! <laughs> oh wow, different vibe at night, isn't it? It was actually really cool walking yeah. back because the sun was setting over there. Yes! So it was reflecting against like the boat, the glass. It looks really cool. Not bad for four hours of sunlight. Hola amigos! <laughs> Guys, this is where we're having dinner tonight, the America Line. Okay, inside the restaurant. Wow. Oh 
guys, we have arrived at America Linian. We are seated in the restaurant now at the corner table. All of us on the same table. We have a live view of the kitchen. It's an open kitchen so we can see what's going on. And they rolled in a bar here all the way to our table. So the bartender is currently making cocktails right in front of us. Very cool. Our friend Anette. Hi. Hello. Sales manager. <laughs> Very talented woman. Thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, thank you so much for watching this Oslo Norway video. I'm really excited that you decided to stay all the way to the end. So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do that right now. I'm currently here in Lofoten and thinking about the great memories I had at Thief. That last dinner at the Miracle Linian was really, really nice. I had so much fun with all my friends and I'm so happy that I especially got to show Kathy and Dan and Ava around and that we got to introduce them to Kim as well. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hello guys! <laughs> no, it's alright, you guys. We are currently in Lufuten guys, so in the next video I will be showing you the things we get into in Lufuten. Really really beautiful place, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, stay along for the ride, because there's more content coming, and check out the different links in the description here if you are interested in more Norway content. Alright, over and out, I'll see you on the next travel vlog. Until then!